Hi there, my name's Eric, educational technologist and researcher living in Japan. And today I'm going to talk about an extension to create learning modules with the Joomla content management system called JoomMOOC. Uh, here it is listed in the Joomla extensions directory, although it is listed as a Joomla 3.x, 3.0 or higher module or extension, it is not. That is mislabeled. It does not work with 3.0. It only works with 2.5. And I took a look at the demo site. And I was very intrigued with uh, how it was set up. Uh, one of the greatest things about it, it claims to be a responsive uh, design. So that means it would be very good for mobile learning, which I'm very interested in. And it does a pretty good job with it although it's not perfect and I've been testing that in various different forms and I'll show you in just a bit. And uh, this is a MOOC style format so <clears throat> I was also interested in that as well. So I went ahead and I purchased the uh, extension without having any prior <laughs> uh, reviews or whatever because uh, I'm very interested in this as a teacher and a educational technologist. <clears throat> So let's get right into what I've been doing and what I found in the testing process. So first of all, I installed 3.0 on my web server and it didn't install properly. So I had to reinstall 2.5 because that's what it is for. Uh, let's go back to the home page here. This is the, the site I'm testing it out to, to, to get a learning. This is a sandbox. You can go there and check it out still uh, now. Uh, I've logged in here as a super user and uh, take a look at some of the courses. So I've created one course here. Let's see if I can log back in. <clears throat> I've noticed that uh, the, some of the uh, CMS overrides the main theme uh, stylings. So that's not, not, so, not quite so good there. So here's the one course that I've created, it's Travel English, and uh, pretty good with the responsive. The theme that I have is pretty good with the responsive, but the buttons, and uh, still need some work there for responsive. This is about how it would look on an iPhone or a mobile phone device. So <clears throat> let's take a look at the site. You can create uh, content pretty easily. What you do is you create a less a course, which I just clicked on, and inside the course you can create units, and inside the units you create lessons. So I'm just going to click on the first lesson that I created as a test in this unit, and the big big issue here is a navigation. So I'm in the first unit, and there's nowhere to go here. There's the uh, quiz that I put inside this unit, but Let's say uh, there should be a previous or next or back to main menu, some kind of navigation in here to uh, proceed. So as it is now, I can take a look at the quiz. I've already taken it. You can see your re results here. But uh, after that, you really <laughs> you're you're stuck. You have nowhere to go. Um, even if I went into the quiz here, if I go back, there is this next and previous listed here. But that's probably for the the uh, for the next quiz or activity involved with the lesson so and these buttons don't even do anything right now so navigation is a big issue but creating courses it seems to be pretty easy uh, you can use your WYSIWYG editor to edit courses and content doesn't work with all WYSIWYG editors my favorite being JCE it just completely crashes so I had to use a different one uh, not my favorite, but still a uh, decent one. The one that comes with a standard with a, uh, a Joomla install just doesn't quite cut it for uh, creating content. So this is, uh, you can use your WYSIWYG editor anytime you put some HTML in here and whatnot. It's not completely uh, UTF-8 friendly, I've seen. Uh, this is the uh, Japanese uh, description I put in for this particular course. And the, you notice there's still a lot of non-English all around. All the errors are still not in English. I'd be happy to help out and translate those or write some uh, code for you for that. If you need 
So you can get that in pretty good, but there's a big issue with this. So I put this in second. This is the second uh, unit I put in, but I want it to be first. So there's no way for me to rearrange. I mean, I even go back into the back end and try and rearrange that here. The orderings one, two. Here's the first one. I first one I created. Second second one I created. But I want this to be first. Usually in all Joomla extensions, there's either a button module to rearrange the order in which these are coming. There's no way to do that. And that could be very, very time consuming, and frustrating, and make it almost impossible to create courses uh, using this product. So please, that's a big issue. Let's work on that. One of the first things. <clears throat> uh, let's see. Next. Let's talk about the SEO of these particular sites. So I'll go back up to the courses. SEO is a big issue, right, for uh, finding stuff on Google and whatnot. And uh, this courses, the main menu here, that's only that's driven by the uh, Joomla content management site. So let's see how the extension handles URLs once you get inside. So first of all, it's not in English, which is an completely a bad thing but uh, SEO I'd really like to see that be in English if you're going to uh, put courses in there and the next it just says number one which is probably because it's the first course listed in the database uh, it, this really should be the course name <coughs> and you can see let's see how that handles in SEO when I go in so once again this is not English activity and then just probably the first activity so it's one again and that really should be the activity name that that's not a the biggest concern of mine right now is right now is the uh, creating content and navigation the two things I just mentioned before uh, styling I'll just show you what that what uh, the uh, globals that may have a few issues with uh, creating stylings in the future um, Here's a login button. Uh, the font size is 14. When you go to the courses page, the styling is overridden. Let's take a look at what that might look like. <clears throat> yeah, the font size has been changed. The family font the font size has all been changed. When I went to the courses page, that means some globals have been changed. That should not be the case when loading uh, con content for an extension in Joomla. So yes, to recap, a uh, great idea. Um, they're working in some other things for uh, social content with some other extensions, but if for learning, which is this is going to be a great tool for learning, uh, I would really recommend working on navigation uh, SEO and uh, creating a solid uh, learning management system before trying to integrate all the social stuffs that uh, is on the roadmap, roadmap apparently for the uh, development of Joomilk. Again, my name's Eric. Uh, if you have any questions about developing MOOC or uh, troubleshooting issues with Joomilk, please contact me on my website, erichawkinson.com. All right, have a good day.